Welcome back my lovely darlings. Today a video for ladies uh, who are more curvy and ideas how can you look fabulous when there's some kind of event, when there's some kind of evening, atti uh, evening attire required. So I just want to give you some really fantastic um, outfits ideas uh, for the evening. I think this is going to be something interesting. I made a video for um, opera and theater ones for uh, majority it was just like normal size I will just say My, uh, but I thought that it would be really really nice and I'm sure some of you will be interested in a more ladies with a curvy size you know we there are, we all are different sizes there's nothing to be ashamed of but I just want to um, so I just want to make that clear but I think it's nice when I, I, I like that when I make videos particularly for some specific groups because I know um, this can be just easier for you. It's easier for you to look exactly at the pictures in a lady that may be similar size to you and you are like, you know, she looks so fantastic, I can do the same, you know. So this is just my encouragement for you that if you have some kind of event, if you have some kind of opera or if you have some kind of wedding maybe coming of your friends, this is a video for you to have some kind of inspiration for evening outfits. One of the outfits, I feel the colors are absolutely fantastic. Um, not everyone is going to look great in those colors, but this lady, she looks great. Uh, I, looked, I love the style of her hair as well. I love that she has jewelry, uh, shoes that are exactly the sandals that are exactly the same uh, as her skin color. So it's extending your leg as well and it's really really um, it looks really really nice the dress in this kind of like a gold orange kind of old orange yellowish tone and on top of that she has really nice elegant uh, burgundy coat you can see that it's not winter it's maybe like an autumnal time but overall this is about evening you know uh, dresses i want to point out as well that any shoes you're going to wear during the evening, um, like for example sandals, um, you can still wear a sandals during, um, I would say autumn, but if you, I would probably say that it would be required from you, it would make more sense if you would have a taxi that is going to drop you to that place and then you're going back home, you're not going to walk anywhere because obviously you need to think as well when it comes to shoes that you, if it's a particular time of the year, like winter, you're not going to wear sun, heel sandals, you know, this just doesn't make sense, doesn't look so good, you know, when you think about this. You're going to wear some kind of boots or maybe you're going to wear uh, like a stiletto heels but they're going to have a cover toes you don't want to show your toes over the winter you know that's not that not the, not the time or a place for that um autumn i would say is on the edge if it's very cold then i wouldn't do it but if it's still autumnal like a really nice warm day and there is going to be some kind of event um then it but it's still quite warm then yes you can wear sandals that's that's my opinion you know um, but i wouldn't do it over the winter that just doesn't make so much sense I made a video about patterns and over a curvy ladies you made already made a few videos but I think like if you're trying to hide a little bit your um, body type then or your silhouette then it's really nice to go for some kind of pattern strong pattern is going to bring attention to the pattern rather to your silhouette so everybody is going to focus on what is it on your dress rather than who is wearing it if you know what I mean um, this outfit um, has that, you know, the lady, she looks fantastic. It gives you a little bit vintage feel because of her hair as well. Um, but you have a strong, like a polka dot um, pattern, which is fantastic, very feminine. Polka dot is very feminine and I made a video about that as well, if you want to have a look. Um, and I think it's really, really great. The hair tattoo as well gives you her personality. Um, so that's just something we shouldn't be scared of showing the tattoo. I made a video about tattoos. This might be controversial. I personally think you can do whatever you like, you know, whatever you feel it's going to work for you. If you like tattoos, do it, go for it. Um, 
but anyway i made the whole video whole point is over there in that video if you want to have a look about tattoos i think if you if you are a person who loves tattoos don't cover them don't be scared of covering because this is a part of who you are you know and that's it you know and she's doing that she's just owning who she is she's showing her character she's showing her uh, personality by wearing this kind of bold dress but also in a way cover her silhouette by choosing this kind of strong pattern so um, it is possible to um, get more coverage if you, that's what you're looking for by going for something that is just going to focus your eye on it. Um, if you prefer shorter dresses and uh, red dresses, then this is absolutely fantastic option. I think red is great, bold color, very sexy, very feminine. Um, the lady, she went with this kind of uh, nude heels that again going to extend her legs. So she's going to, her legs going to look longer, um, which is really nice um, thing to do. Very sexy style, you know, you have a like, bold red lips. She looks absolutely fantastic, you know. That's just kind of outfit I would say you can go for. Uh, theater, you can go for some kind of date if it's like a, you know, a more elegant type of occasion as well or someone's, maybe not someone's birthday or someone's wedding. We don't wear red to people's wedding because that just takes attention from the bride and you don't want to do that, never. Only if it's invitation and it's clarified, everybody wears red, you know, that's a different story. But when there is a normal type of style of like wedding, then you don't wear red. Um, but for a date, it's absolutely appropriate. You're going to be very like a bold um, woman when you do that, you know, and she looks absolutely great. Everything red apart from shoes, but shoes are very clever because as I'm saying, when you go for shoes in the same skin color as your... Um, legs basically uh, then you're going to extend your uh, legs that's going to just give a little bit more um, longer leg uh, feel I wanted to mention this outfit because I think this is great for opera as well uh, it can be in different colors can be in more darker colors if you feel like the pink is too strong because obviously it is very bold color it's very vibrant um, I think it's beautiful, it's very this kind of magenta pink and um, the skirt is really lovely material, it's really lovely look overall. This is one of the looks I wanted to mention because I think any lady she can look uh, really fantastic uh, with outfit like this, you know. This is a very, this is more like a deeper type of v-neck but um, the material, this kind of like a metallic feel of material uh, adding a belt as well to again create this kind of hourglass uh, silhouette um, overall the, it's a really lovely dress and this style of dresses is going to look always really nice on a curvy lady this is just how it works so if you're um, considering to go somewhere for some kind of event and you don't know what kind of style of dress but you still want to feel comfortable it's not going to squeeze you too much you're going to have a movement so this is this is just the option for you to consider because um, it's just going to give you this kind of movement, freedom of movement, you know, so it, it's just really, really uh, nice idea. On the end, a very, very bold ladies, you have very beautiful, like a deep skin, chocolate type of skin um, color. So she went for a yellow dress. Uh, beautiful like a more summer summer look I would say um, obviously the yellow like this is not going to work for everyone I made a video about the yellow so you can have a look at this one as well I think I think ladies with deep skin tone can go for any yellow they will look fantastic in any yellow but girls like me who are very pale they're not going to look in any yellow sometimes we wear I will wear yellow and I will look like I'm sick you know so Keep that in mind that this kind of yellow is not going to be for everyone, but for this particular lady, she's just on winning it, you know. She looks fantastic and it's beautiful look. If it's going to be a um, time of the year when it's a little bit cold, you could just have nice uh, coat on top of that. But overall, it's quite a summer dress, so I would probably advise to wear it during the summer or spring. Because obviously you don't want to be too cold. Um, so yeah, that was today's video. I, I want to ladies encourage you to don't feel like you need to hide Don't feel like um, You know people going to I don't know talk to about you or something I know we have this kind of sometimes feeling that people going to how they're going to 
see us, you know, but who cares? I want you to feel really good about yourself. So whatever you're going to wear, don't feel like you need to hide. Feel like you are a fantastic woman. You can show whatever you want to show. You can go for bolder, bolder colors. You can look super vibrant if that's what you're looking for. And this is no one business. And remember that the people are always focused on themselves. Even if they're going to look at you for a moment, they're still going to focus, they're still going to think about themselves the most. So don't be scared uh, and experiment a little bit and wear something really beautiful. Go for some kind of beautiful event and have some fun. Have some fun, have some fun with fashion as well. And you don't need to wear only dark colors. You can wear some nice bold patterns. You can wear some, you can wear some nice bold uh, colors as well. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave it a thumbs up because it's really supporting my channel. And see you in the next one.